so today we can start the class of the history with the new way online and the, we are using the new method that the effective and the understanding for everyone that getting the information on the easy way the chapter number cost of history in this chapter we can discuss about the life and the story about the human beings lots of time everybody asking to about us what is your age then we can say the simply answer sir my age 17 18 16 35 40 but whenever anybody asking to you whatever the age of the human being nobody can give the answers what was the timing of the first human take the birth in this earth then we can also puzzles so in this chapter we can discuss about the the story of the human being this is the combination of the history plus biology we can discuss about the when and the where the first humans come to the earth and how can the life have been change of the human being concepts in this module in this module we'll be discussing the following concepts evolution of human being and hunting technologies in this chapter we can discuss the evolution of the human being human bana kaise kahan se aaya hunting technology how can that human have been be changed the via gathering to the hunting and to the real men at present jo hamari age hai jo structures hai lots of time 4.6 million years 4.6 years millions lage hame yahan tak aane mein so the humans are so important just see the process of the humans being man of the earth humans being kaise earth pe aaye honge first time how can we look kaise dikhai dete honge lots of the variety uh, theories of the evolutions kafi logon ne apni apni theories batayi hai a uh, lots of person saying that the adam and eve you know about the adam and eve biology mein aapke aate hain the first persons come to the earth arabic mein kuch log bibles mein batate adam aur hawa do person hote hain jo sabse pehle earth mein aate hain lots of persons lots of theory primates hominids homonid the homo sapiens these are the category of the human being we can discuss in now man on earth humans are considered to be the wisest beings on earth everybody know that the humans are the wisest person of the or sabse buddhiman jisko bolte humans and the all our all program have been be run by the human beings so we are the superior persons at that times so now we can thinks how can the human have been be convert process and the change their life just see human life at the starting of 4.6 billion how can we change where this picture you can get theory of the evolution how can the human change their life it was 5.6 million years ago that the first human like creatures appear on the earth's surface after this several forms of humans emerged and became extinct till human beings resembling modern man appeared around 1 lakh 60000 years ago the evolution of human beings was a slow process which took millions of years in the process of evolution many species became extinct and new or advanced humans emerged During this long period of human history, people obtain food by scavenging or hunting animals and gathering plant produce. We have come to know about the activities of these early humans through the discovery of human fossils, stone tools, and cave paintings. evidence of human evolution also comes from human fossils 
which can be dated through direct chemical analysis or by dating the sediments in which they were buried. When these human fossils were first found by scholars, many refused to accept that the human fossils and skeletal fragments were the remains of early humans and were skeptical about the ability of early humans to make stone tools or do painting work. It's next to impossible for the early humans such stone tools. However, about 200 years ago, many scholars accepted that human fossils and stone tools were connected with early humans. This belief stemmed from the fact that early scholars believed in the Old Testament of the Bible, according to which humans were created by God. This school of thought came to be known by modern man as creationism. In 1859, when Charles Darwin's book, Origin of Species, was published, it marked a landmark in the study of evolution. It gave birth to a new school of thought called evolutionism. It challenged the theory of creationism. We humans have evolved from animals a long time ago. Therefore, man's appearance on Earth is explained by two theories, evolutionism and creationism. Science supports the theory of evolutionism which is also the most widely accepted theory on Earth. So students, in this chapter, we can discuss, discuss about, about the scientific the theory of the human creatures. beings. Sources of early human history, creationism versus evolution, and Charles Darwin. There have been lots of theory for the human beings, in the normal way, how can the human comes? What was the theory? Normally, we can adopt the two of the theories. One, the uh, creation of the evolution, this theory, and the second of the Charles Darwin. The theory of the Charles Darwin, he was a great scientist. He also write a book of the origin of the species. So we can think about the modern history of the human beings. So we can discuss in the next slides, how can the human and based on their theories, this prakar mano ka process hota hai. You can just see in these pictures, everything has been be clear. Try to once just see one, two, three, four, five, six, six picture at front of you. And you see, this is the process of the human being in the medicals and the biological language. We can see that it is the timing period before the 4.6 Maya years. We can look like this. And now 2020, this is the real humans in front of you. We all are humans at front of you. That was not a short time. We can get it to 0 0.1, 2.6, 4.6 lakhs. A to Z ke liye, pure process ke liye hume 4.6 lakhs time chahiye. Yani that was the huge process. Kis prakar nature's ne hume change kiya? How can nature have been be changed? Which type of the activity have been be done? We can define one by one. Creatures. The first human-like creatures appeared on Earth six million years ago. MYA. The modern humans originated 1,60,000 years ago. Now in this slides you can see the creatures. First time before 6 million years ago, we can found the creatures of the Mayas. But now if we can ask anybody asking to the what was the real age of the human being, modern humans being, that was the 1.60 years. Just see the what was the difference of creature and the humans. How can that creatures have been converted to the humans. Everything has been be explained in detail. Human history are stone tools, cave paintings, human fossils. Now that everybody asking to you, how can we get the, the human are the 1.6, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6 years old. How can we get the kaise pata chalta hai ki humans beings jo hai, mano prani, creature, fossils, kitne old hai. So these are the three formulas have been used by the scientists. Stone tools, cave painting, and human fossils. 
like we can say that the, at the early human have been using there have been the weapons x like x the all are the weapons and the security things have been making by the early human being by stone because they did not know the iron and the copper cave paintings this is the caves belongs to the altamira caves in spain in the next slide we can explain in detail human fossils also we can found the old things these are the some major resources to getting the information of the early human life first fossils, fossils it, yes listen the remains of very old plants animals or humans turned into stones I think you are naturally preserved for millions of years. Yes. They are often embedded in rocks. I think in previous year 10th class you all are taking the science class and generally you everybody know the meaning of the fossils. So at 11th I think I did not want to the more explanation about the fossils if anybody asking to me fossils what do you mean by the fossils? Remains are very uh, very old plants animals humans anything old. So you know the meaning of the fossils or not? We know, sir. Yes. So this is the common word. We can also reading about the tenth class science. So we can the fossils. These are the remains. Look like the some uh, bones of the animals, bones of the fishes, some part of the stones, coals, petrochemical, lots of product. We can see the fossils. An important evidence for understanding human evolution. And now the number point number two, the importance. Product. How can uh, like we can getting the humans head sculpture, and there have been be some uh, part of wood, part of stones that are the all the evidence of the understanding of the human evolutions. After that, we can use our methods in the scientific laboratory. How can we calculate the age of mountains and river? General way we can counting the age of the human being by a date of birth documents. But how can we calculate the age of mountains? Ek pahad ki age aap kaise calculate karenge? Ek tree ki age kaise calculate karenge? You can see in the lots of newspaper. These tree have been be one thousand four years old. This mountains have been be ten thousand years old. Kafi baar aata na news me. Ye pahad, patthar, nadi dus zar vars purani. How can they will be calculate the age of these type of things? Anybody telling me the which type of the methods, techniques these person having using the calculate the age? This formula has been known as carbon fourteen because in every known living things there have been be a product carbon fourteen. We can explain in detail next carbon fourteen what is this? Just see creationism versus evolution. Let's discuss the conflict between creationism and evolution. In the absence of modern developments in study, it was an accepted belief that God created humans. The idea was popularized by the Old Testament. Please, lots of persons, and normally the Bible, always saying that. Humans are created by God. Human are created by God. हमने काफी बार गीता बाइबल हमारे एपिक्स में सुना है. Humans are made by God. And we also believe that that pictures the human are created by the God. But if we can think the human evolutions, this is that depend on the natures. If we think about the creation of the creationisms, अगर हम भगवान प्रकार के बारे में सोचे then we can believe that the human have been be created by god but actually if we think about the scientific method then we can analyze it human are created by natures and this is a long process there have been be no role of god charles darwin is a naturalist he developed a theory of evolution based on the idea of natural selection On 24th November 1859, Charles Darwin published his book on the origin of species. Always remember the name of the book. In this book, Darwin argued that humans had evolved from animals a long time ago. His theory proposed that an animal species may change over time, 
as the best adapted members survive and the less successful members die out in the course of natural changes. That means according to the theory of Charles Darwin, fittest is the survival. We have heard that science is the powerful in the forest. Ke andar, wohi survival karega. Same theory has been be used by the Charles Darwin. If you are the fittest, you can survive well in the next time. This is the process of the human being. Just see by the skulls, bones. How can the human life? This is the, just see, you can see 4.6. After that, human have been be converted into to that person. Now you can see, and uh, this picture have been be look like the dinosaur. Huh? Now, and now you can see, this is the real picture of the human being. Now, this is the evolution of the backbone of the human being. How can our backbone and the backside of the human being have been changed? Is prakar hamari jo reed ki handi hoti hai, wo change hoti gai hai. Kya process aata hai? How can, just see, there have been be five pictures and lots of difference. Difference number one, just see, hand. You can see the size of hand and leg. What is the main difference between picture one and the fifth? This is the picture number one and this is the picture number fifth. If I am asking to the give me the one major difference between one and fifth. So can you see and tell me what was the major difference between picture one and five? If you can see this paragraph and this picture, there have been the main difference between picture one and so tell me sir the size of hand ah. and leg legs just see the 4.6 whenever the first time of the human being just see the hand i think the hand and the legs are the equals and another thing just see the finger just see the size of finger i think the size of finger in modern time look like the size of hand and now picture number two, the hand will be changed. Picture number two and number three and number four. This is the evolution of the human being via pictures. Am degre kis parkar hamare human being me step by step. There have been be lots of change. Kis parkar change aata hai. You can say that it is the modern man and this is the old man this is the reality of the scientific matter of the human being we don't think about all things pattern have been created by god and the book is knowledge it is the scientific methods darwin challenge the theory of creation he proved that human beings emerged through the process of evolution and natural selections he published his findings in his book on the origin of species on 24th November 1859. Darwin have been the, published their book 24 November 1859. And now what he wants to prove that can, he wants to prove that amongst through the process, the evolutions and natural selections normally in the simple way. Darwin to explain that. Usne bola, human ka jo process hota hai, jo change hua hai, why are natural selections hai? not affected by any persons and gold. Darwin wants to tell the society and the people just usse bitna batana chata tha ki human beings mein jo change hai naturals hai no doing by the gods ye bhagwan ne kuch nahi kiya hai everything is done by natural selections har kuch jo evolution change hamara ho raha hai wo naturals hai nothing is done by the gods and the humans and in these books, we can... Here are the pictures of Darwin. Yes. And this book, The Origin of Species. Mm -hmm. The following question. The term Homo sapiens literally means A. Upright man. B. Thinking or wise man. C. Southern ape. Or D. The tool maker. This is the Homo sapiens, first type of the human being. Jo mano jab pehle banta hai, so that will time he will be known as the Homo sapiens. After that, there have been be lots of change. Eight to nine age have been becomes that we can discuss about the next time. And you can see the Homo sapiens 
answer the following question. If anybody asking to what the term were the main... Homo sapiens literally means A, upright man, B, thinking or wise man, C, southern ape, or D, the tool maker. So Homo sapiens have been be literally known as the thinking wise man. Means now the human have the thinking powers. Now he can start the thinking. He can start the thinking. Now he can start the thinking. Now he can start the thinking. And in the normal way, we can say that the thinking wise man, that person has the mind. Now he has the mind. Now you can see the Now you can see that. And homonoids. Under this, we'll discuss the following concepts. These concepts are history of evolution, primates, hominids, and hominoids, evolution of the hand, branches of hominids, why apes, positive feedback mechanism, bipedalism, beginning of ice age. Now we can discuss step by step of human being. History of life. First of all, first of all, who were Homonites, homonids, homo habilis, homo sapiens, apes, mechanisms, bipedisms. First time, when the person's have life have been becomes to the earth, then what we say that then? Then we can say them primates. We can say them primates. primates. Primates are a category of a larger group of mammals. They include monkeys, apes, and humans. They had body hair and long gestation period. They also had mammary glands and different types of teeth. Apart from that, they had the ability to maintain a constant body temperature. In general way, uh, primates, if anybody asking to what do you mean by the primates, everybody knows that things. This is the, also the part of the 10th sign. A subgroup of the large group of the mammals include monkey, apes, humans. And what was the main characteristic of the primates? Like they have the body hair, long gestation periods, mammaries glands, different types of the teeth. That is the size of the teeth, the size of the size of the difference of that, and maintain the constant body temperature. Apni body ka temperature alag alag part mein concerned kar sakte. These are the some different parts of the history of Now we'll be discussing about and primates. Primates after that we can the history, history of the of evolution. evolutions. Kab hota hai? Let us have an idea of the history of evolution. The history of evolution can be traced between 36 and 24 million years ago. Primates, a category of mammals, emerged in Asia and Africa. About 24 million years ago, other subgroups amongst primates called hominoids emerged. Hominids included apes. Evidence of the first hominids found is about 5.6 million years ago. So we can remember this line also. Only this. When were the first evidence of the hominids? 5.6 million years. Hame aaj ke mano ke jo evidence proof kam mile 5.6 million years ago. Million years ago. That is known as the Maya. Millions years ago. The meaning of that Maya. 5.6 million years ago. Hame 5.6 million years pehle milte hain. Hamare yaan par kuch evidence hote hain. Human beings ke kaan par kaise kya milte hain. Primate, hominids, After the primates, hominids. hominids evolved from hominoids. They shared some common features and had differences too. The hominoids had a smaller brain than hominids. They were quadrupeds, that is, they walked on all four, but they had flexible forelimbs. Now, the after the creatures, the first form, just see two words, you can see two words. Homonids and the homonoids. These are the two different. If you can see the spelling of that word and the meaning of the both of the word are different. Homonids and the homonoids. These are the two words. And how can they will be known as the, this is the, just see the difference between the two. 
and you can see homonids have been be convert in the homonides this is the involved kis prakar homonid change hota hai homonides mein said the some common feature had different to the homonides now we can discuss what were the main difference between both of them if any word persons asking to what were the difference between only a single words have been be different where spell agar hum dekhte hain there have been be only one word different between but what were the real difference the two group homonides a smaller brain jo unka brains hota hai wo chhota hota hai small chhota hota brains quadpeds were all four but flexible four limbs first time quadpeds means what they they homonides have been be using the hand look like the leg at present we know we are using the two legs hamari do pairon pe hum chalte hain abhi but before the homonides we know the human being has been a four leg the hand have been look like the leg abhi humne wo five picture dekhe the na piche jo first wala jo main batane lag raha tha usme jab hum dekhte hain size of hand to dono ka common mana jata hai that is the homonides just homonids just see. Have an african origin the first evidence is a group of african apes most closely related to homonids the second evidence is that the earliest hominid fossils that belong to the genus australopithecus have been found from east these Africa. are the evidence have been be found these in various type of the country date back to about 5.6 million years ago the fossils found outside africa are not older than 1.8 million years ago hominids belong to a family known as the hominidae this family includes all forms of human beings the distinctive characteristics of hominids are as follows large brain size brain size large upright posture posture just see bipedal locomotion locomotion have been changed the specialization of hand hand have been be larger than normal way this is the some characteristic of the hominids the size of hand brain posture all are different that we can see the hominids just see with the help of the following diagram you can see the evolution of the human hand a shows the precision grip of the chimpanzees a b shows the precision b. grip of hominid hominids c shows the power grip of the human hand this is the real evolution of the human hand kis prakar hamara jo ek single hand hai usme kitna change aata hai how much the hand has been changed in 2000 <laughs> 20 i have hand last 5 minutes are remaining okay the which you just see the chimpanzee and the convert to the how the just see the hand of that the lots of hair in the side of that but now we can removing the hair and the size of the fingers have been changed with the help of this diagram we can understand the branches of hominids the major differences between australopithecus and homo are the brain size jaws and teeth now just see the brain size homo and the australopithecus person dono ke brain size and the size of the teeth dono ke teeth jo daanton ka aur brain ka size hai difference mana jata tha australopithecus and the homo needs ka the both the size have been be different time by time this is the known as the evolutions ise kehte hain parivartan you can say the change also time by time it will be convert to new say australopithecus the term australopithecus is derived from latin and greek words austral is derived from the latin word meaning southern pithecus is derived from the greek word meaning ape in history every time you can see the definitions this word have been become to the latin word this come to the With greek the word everything you can see these two latin and the greek by gorge in the rift valley East Africa is one of the areas from which traces of early human history have been recovered. Deposits exposed in the sides of the gorge cover a time span from about 2.1 million to 15,000 years ago. All the way has come to be identified with Mary and Louis Leake who worked here for over 40 years. It was Mary Leake who directed 
archaeological excavations at Olduvai and Litoli discovered a skull fragment belonging to an early hominin. You can see this is the story of the various parts of the country like Tanzania, Hong Kong, Australia. How can we get in the human fossils? And how can the life have been changed? This Here is the all over world and the some famous see, persons. Mary and Louis Leakey, along with the fossil remains they found at Alduvai Gorge. Why apes? They are called pithicos or apes as they retained many features of apes like small brain size in comparison to homo large back teeth and limited dexterity of hands now you can see the difference between just see the size of teeth we have discussion karte na eight teeth hamare change hote hain and the size of the brain also just see the first part this part ye wala jo jabda hai kitna zyada nikla hua hai present mein dekhte bahut zyada and the size of the teeth dekhiye size dekhiye and i think aaj ke time se zyada bhi teeth inke paaye jate hain and the size of the eyes also just see and the brain size brain kitna piche nikla hua hai and teeth jo inka hai wo kitna aage aaya hua hai this is the change of the human being that we can discuss about the hominids and the hominoids kya change human being mein hamara aata hai lots of change have we can see why this picture jo hame pictures mili hai usme bataya jata hai kitna change hamara yahan par aaya hai dono ke andar the remains of early humans are classified you can have an idea of the positive feedback mechanism by the help of this diagram now you can this is the diagrams have been be saying about the human beings how can the human have be converted whenever you can use the ncrt and chapter number first you can see there have been be all things have been be defined by the human beings how can the humans have been be making tool makings what was the step by step the human have been be changed how can the hand leg mind mentality thinking all things have been become to the changes of the human being after the whenever the regular class is going on then we can discuss about the some deeply about all that things because we have the starting of the classes we don't go to the depth of that things bipedalism bipedalism is a form of locomotion where an organism moves by means of its two rare limbs bipedalism enabled hands to be freed for carrying infants or yes. objects this is the best picture of the saying to the explain to you aapke samajh mein aane ke liye best and the last picture only 3 minutes have been be left so main aapko sirf yahi bataunga just imagine some three picture how the human have been be changed via three pictures a b c just see the bones backbone just see this bones look like the chimpanzee that persons that animal have been using four legs her two hand jo uske do haath hai just see look like the legs he can't stable so seedha khada nahi ho sakta because he did not have the backbone uski jo backbone hai itni powerful nahi hai dekho backbone kahan tak attach hai mind se yahan tak just see सिंगल बोन्स हैव बीन बी अटैक ही कांट स्टे वो सीधा खड़ा नहीं हो सकता दैट इज द चेंज आफ्टर द सम टाइम मे बी 1000 1 लैक्स इयर्स सम टाइम्स यस जब चेंज हुआ नाउ ही कन्वर्ट टू दैट पर्सन नाउ जस्ट सी बैक बोन एंड द साइज ऑफ द हैंड रिमूविंग स्मॉल्स हैंड के साइज भी स्मॉल हो गए एंड नाउ जस्ट सी द स्टैंडिंग पोजीशन में नाउ ही कैन स्टैंड and the last human being and now you can see hand sides and the leg side means dheere dheere jab hum starting mein hamara starting jo hamara hota hai then we can think everybody saying that hum dono charo pairo par hi chalte the two hand and two legs after that some improvement over back bones and we can use the two legs but after that we can did not getting the maximum time yahan par isme hum zyada do pairo pe chalta the thak jate the like monkey after the one lakh years then we can change everything and now we are present of the human being so in the today meeting we can discuss and we can learn about